Debt Market Update July 2021 The GSEC yields climbed up during the month and 10-year benchmark GSEC bond yield ended 15 basis points higher at 6.2% compared to a month ago. The sharp increase in yields was driven by multiple factors, including rollout of new 10-year benchmark GSEC, high CPI print, rise in crude oil prices, and intermittent concerns over sooner-than-expected withdrawal of monetary stimulus by RBI. However, the upside was capped partly due to fall in 10-year US Treasury yields, more investors believing the narrative of transitory inflation in US, and growing concern of global growth peaking. The average net interbank liquidity surplus increased sequentially, driven by abatement of pressure of advanced tax, increase in government spending, liquidity infusion by RBI of INR 400 billion through acquisition under GSAP 2.0, purchase of foreign exchange, and muted credit growth vis a vis deposit growth. Net FPI flows in debt turned marginally positive in July 2021 to 0 0.5 billion US dollars. Cumulatively, in the first four months of FY22, FPI's net inflows into debt stood at 0 0.24 billion US dollars compared to net outflows of 4.3 billion US dollars during the same period last year. Monetary Policy Meeting in its meeting, the Monetary Policy Committee MPC, unanimously voted to keep the policy repo rate and reverse repo rate unchanged at 4% and 3.35% respectively. It also decided to maintain with majority of 5 to 1 an accommodative stance as long as necessary to revive and sustain growth on a durable basis and continue to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on the economy while ensuring that inflation remains within the target going forward. Further, RBI announced increase in quantum of VRRR auctions to INR 4 lakh crore by stepping it up by INR 50,000 crore each over four fortnights starting 13th August 2021. Further, RBI also revised its average inflation forecast for FY22 to 5.7% from 5.1% while retaining the growth estimate at 9.5%. Outlook The RBI monetary policy decision to maintain status quo on rates and accommodative stance was in line with consensus market expectations. However, notably the decision of maintaining the accommodative stance not being unanimous was slightly surprising. During this policy, RBI and or MPC did not announce any major change apart from increase in quantum of VRRR auction which was largely in line with expectations. Further, the upward revision in CPI and retention of GDP target was also anticipated. On an overall basis, the policy was viewed as slightly negative with increase in quantum of VRRR auctions and one member voting against the decision of maintaining the accommodative stance. This was also reflected in yields across the curve rising by approximately 5 basis points. Going forward, the overall fixed income environment is slightly adversely placed as factors like elevated crude prices, resilient retail inflation, high SLR holding of banks, broad-based recovery in high-frequency indicators, etc. can put upward pressure on GSEC yields. Further, given the increase in quantum of VRRR, there could be higher upward pressure on yields at the shorter end of the curve, leading to flattening of yield curve. Admittedly, these factors have been present since the past few months now, but the impact on the rise in yields has been lower than expected. The primary reason for the yields remaining within a range is continued RBI intervention through deployment of conventional and unconventional tools like LTROs, TLTROs, Operation Twist, GSAP, 
etc. Further, certain factors which are supporting the yields to remain within a range are moderation in 10-year US Treasury yields, muted credit growth vis-a-vis -vis deposit growth, and adequate domestic and global liquidity. Further, in view of buoyant central government tax collections, risk of fiscal slippage has also reduced significantly. In view of the above, we expect yields to trade with an upward bias. However, the yield curve is relatively steep and hence we continue to recommend investments into short to medium duration debt funds, possibly in a staggered manner in line with individual risk appetite. While credit environment still warrants caution, measures undertaken by RBI so far have eased the spreads on AAA-rated bonds significantly, but opportunities continue to exist in select pockets of non-AAA-rated bonds as credit spreads are still trading at attractive levels. Hence, allocation to credit-oriented schemes of funds with some non-AAA exposure can be maintained or increased in a phased manner in line with individual risk appetite. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.